Hello! Good morning! This is teacher Nina Mamaril of Rofalo M. Landa High School, your teacher in Mathematics 10. Before we start our lesson, which is combinations, please bring your activity notebook, ball pen, and paper together with your guided learning activity kit. Make sure that you are in a comfortable place. So, are you ready? Let's start and kindly observe, listen, and understand our topic. Again, make sure that you have with you your guided learning activity kit on Mathematics 10, Quarter 3, Week 3. Since our lesson for today is combinations, have you ever wondered why some locks have codes in them? Do you know why a shorter code is weak, while a longer code is strong, personal password and computer account? Have you ever been aware that there are numerous possible choices in selecting from a set like deciding which combination of dishes to serve in a catering service or deciding which dishes to order in a menu? Did you know that awareness of this can help you from conclusions and make wise decisions? Find out the answers to these questions and discover the wide applications of combinations through this guided learning activity kit. So for our learning competency, you will illustrate the combination of objects. And for the objectives, at the end of this guided learning activity kit, you are expected to Number one, you will illustrate the combination of objects. And number two, you will write mathematical expressions and equations to represent situations involving combinations. And last, number three, objective, you will solve problems involving combinations. So in the previous lesson, you have learned about permutations. Finding the permutations of n objects taken R at a time. Another, problems involving permutations. In permutations, this is associated with arranging things in different order. The order matter. The permutation of n objects taken are at a time is P n objects are taken at a time is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. Remember, n is greater than or equal to r. And the permutation of n objects taken all at a time is P and object N is equal to N factorial. At this point, let us have an exercise. Solve the given items, applying your knowledge about permutations. So be ready with your paper and ball pen and let us take now Item number one. Are you ready? Okay. Question number one. P, six object, six taken at a time, is equal to blank. So here, your unknown is number of permutations. The correct answer for item number one is 120. Okay? Let us take now your question number two. P, seven objects, are taken at a time is equal to 840. In here, 
Your unknown now is R. So solve for the value of R. The correct answer in item number 2 is 2. Nice answer! Okay, let us proceed to problem item number 3. So P, an object taken 3 at a time is equal to 60. In here, your unknown is the value of F. Okay, can solve. Okay, very good. The correct answer in question number 3 is 7. Now, let us proceed to our lesson. Combinations simply concerned about combining or selecting things. In here, the order does not matter. Not unlike in permutations, the order of things always matter. Now, let us take this given situation. Okay. Ready and listen. Suppose you were assigned by your teacher to be the leader of your group for your project. You are given the freedom to choose four of your classmates to be your group mates. If you choose Kelly, Kate, Kay, and Kenzo, does it make any difference? If you choose instead Kay, Kelly, Kenzo, and Kate? Of course not, because the list refers to the same people. Each selection that you could possibly make is called combination. On the other hand, if you choose Kelly, Kate, Kenzo, and Kat, now that is another combination. And it is different from the first combination cited. Remember, if there is a set of S, with n elements, and if r is a non-negative integer less than or equal to n, then each subset of s combining r distinct element called a combination of s. The number of combination of n objects taken r at a time is denoted by this given notation. C or your combination, N is your number of objects in R is taken at a time. In our discussion, we will use the given notation. That's what I discussed a while ago. Okay? Let us have this one. How do we find the number of combinations of n objects taken are at a time. Okay, observe now this given figure. Okay, what if you are asked to form different triangles out of four points plotted? Say A, B, C, and D, of which no three are collinear. When we say no three are collinear, remember no three points lies on the same line. Okay, let us now continue. We can see that triangle ABC is the same as triangle BCA and triangle CBA. In the same manner, triangle BCD is the same as triangle CBD and triangle DBC. This is another illustration of combination. The different triangles that can be formed are triangle ABC, triangle ABD, triangle BCD, 
and triangle CDA. So observe that we have four triangles formed. Thus, there are four combinations. Now, how can you find the number of combinations more systematically? Consider this. If order of the letters is important, then we have the following possibilities. Observe now your four columns. Let us focus our attention in the first column. How many letters did you notice? Very good! There are three letters. And what are these three letters? Nice answer! You have letter A, B, and C. And how many arrangement of these letters can you observe on your first column? Okay, bravo! There are six arrangement, different arrangement. Okay, nice observation. Let us continue observing now your column B, column C, and last column, column D. Is the arrangement or the observation the same with the first column? Yes. Good observation. There are 24 ways in your given possibilities. The number of different orders of four vertices taken three at a time is given by this given, wherein P is your permutation for object. Three taken at a time is equal to four factorial. Where did we get four factorial? That is our four vertices. Over 4 minus 3 factorial. Okay? Let us continue. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? And focus now your attention on your given denominator. Observe that that is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And 1 factorial is equal to 1. Okay? Let us continue. 4 times 3 will give an answer of 12. Right? Okay. 12 times 2 is 24. And multiply by 1 is equal to 24. 24 over 1 is equal to 24. So, there are 24 possibilities. Thus, the actual number of combinations is C for your combinations, 4 number of objects, 3 taken at a time is equal to 24 over 6 or 24 divided by 6 or P for object taken at a time, 3 taken at a time over 6. Or P for objects 3 taken at a time over 3 factorial. Notice that 6 or 3 factorial is the same number of ways of arranging 3 objects taken all at a time. We divided by 3 factorial. Why? To eliminate duplicates. Note, there are 4 objects. What are these 4 objects? A, B, C, and D. These 4 objects will be our N. That is equal to 4. These four objects are selected three 
at a time. And this will be our R, which is equal to 3. So let us use the formula in getting now your combinations wherein you have C, number of objects taken R at a time is equal to N factorial over R factorial multiplied by the quantity of N minus R factorial. Now, we stated a while ago that our N is 4 and R now is 3. So let us substitute the values on your given formula. Okay? So we have already 4 factorial on our given numerator. And in the denominator, your R is 3 factorial. Substitute now on your given quantity. So you have now N is 4, R is 3. So 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Okay. Go back now to your given numerator which is 4 factorial. You have learned that 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And on your given denominator, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. That is now your 3 factorial. Okay, let us continue now the solution. 4 times 3, 12. And 12 times 2 is 24 times 1 is 24. Okay, but if you are going to observe, we can apply the cancellation method. We can cancel out now your common factors on your given numerator and given denominator, which are 3, 2, and 1. Since we cancelled 3, 2, and 1 in the numerator and denominator, so we have only 4 left. And meaning, our answer is 4. Okay? Remember, the combination of n objects taken r at a time is c, number of objects are taken at a time, is equal to n factorial over r factorial multiplied by the quantity of n minus r factorial. So this is now the formula to be used. And remember, you have now n is greater than or equal to r and r is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Using now our given formula, let us have now our example number one. Applying your formula in combination. Okay. Are you ready? Let us take now example number one. Okay. In how many ways can a committee consisting of four members be formed from eight people? I'll repeat. In how many ways can a committee consisting of four members be formed from eight people? Now, let us proceed now to our solution in problem number one. Using the formula, we have now n is equal to 8. Why 8? Yes, consisting of 8 people. Nice answer! Okay, why is it that our r is 4? Okay, so you will form 4. That's why our r is equal to 4. Okay, this is now our formula. And let us substitute now the values of n, which is 8, and r, which is 4. Okay, 
So we have now n is 8, so we have now 8 factorial. In our given denominator, r is 4, so we have now 4 factorial. And the quantity of n minus r is 8 minus 4 factorial. Again, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 2 times 1. And on our given denominator, 8 minus 4 is 4 factorial. So we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we have another 4 factorial, which is the value of R. So we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 also. Observe that we have two sets of 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in our denominator. Now, observe now your given common factors on your given numerators and given denominator. We can cancel out your common factors 4, 3, 2, and 1 from your numerator and denominator. Okay? And we have also 6 and 3. Cancel 6, we have now 2, and 3 is 1. Divisible by 3. And another, we have common factors 8 and 4 and 2. Okay. Observe now your numbers left. So we have only 3 in the numerator. These are 7, 2, and 5. And in the denominator, we have only 1. So you, you may not write your denominator 1 since that is equal to 1. And to get out the product, we have 7 times 2 times 5 after your common factors that I can sell will give an answer of 70, meaning we have 70 ways. Okay, after now your example number one, let us proceed now to example number two. Still about combinations. Now, how many polygons can be possibly formed from six distinct points on a plane? No three of which are collinear. No three of which are collinear. What do you mean by that? No three points lies on the same line. Okay, let us continue. So when you are given, let us proceed now to the solution. The polygon may have 3, 4, 5, or 6 vertices. Thus, the number of n of possible polygons is this. n is equal to c, 6 object, 3 taken at a time, plus c, 6 object, 4 taken at a time, plus C, 6 object, 5 taken at a time, plus 6 objects, 6 taken at a time. Okay, let us continue solving. We have now 3 taken at a time, meaning we have 6 times 5 times 4. And 3 taken at a time will be our denominator 3 factorial. Did you get it? Okay, very good. Let us continue. On your second one, plus 6 object R is 4. So we have now 4, meaning you have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. And our denominator will be 4 factorial of 4. And on the third one, we have now our R is 5, so we have from 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 
times 2. So there are 5 numbers. And our denominator is 5 factorial since there is now our R. And to have now the last, our R is 6. So we have now 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And your denominator now is 6 factorial. Okay, now, observe now that we have now common factors from your given numerator and denominator that can be cancelled. Focus now your attention on the first set. 6 on your given numerator can be cancelled in 3 and 2 on your given denominator. Did you observe that? Correct. So we have now another set. On your given numerators, we can cancel out now 4 and 4 on your given denominator. 6 on your numerator and denominator, we have 3 and 2. So, proceed now to your third. We have to cancel out now Observe that we can cancel out all your common factors. 5, 4, 3, 2. From your numerator and denominator. And last one. All the factors can be cancelled. Why? We have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From numerator and denominator. And what are the numbers left? On the first set, we have only... 5 and 4. Get the product is equal to 20. Second set, we have 5 and 3. The product is 15. And in the last one, we have now 6 and 1. We'll give the sum of 7. Get the total 20 plus 15 plus 7. What is the sum? Very good. The sum is 42. Nice answer. So meaning there are 42 possible polygons. Okay. After now our two given examples, let us have now your activities. For your guided practice number one. This is entitled Flex That Brain. Nice title. Okay. The instruction is, find the unknown in each item. Okay, let us first your given example. So you have C, 8 object, 3 taken at a time. What is our unknown? Your unknown is the value of C. So let us have now the solution. Substitute now your given values on your given formula. So this is our formula again that we discussed a while ago. Okay, substitute. Let us continue. So we have now n is 8. So we have 8 factorial. And in our given denominator, r. So we have r is 3. So we have now 3 factorial. And on your given quantity, 8 minus 3. 3 is equal to 5. So we have now 5 factorial. So how is that? 8 factorial is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And on your given denominator, we have now 3 factorial is 3 times 2, times 1, and 5 factorial is 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Okay? Let us continue. Observe now your given, observe now your given factors from your given numerator and given denominator. We can cancel out all the common factors. 6, 5, 
4, 3, 2, and 1. And if you will observe, the only digits that left are 8 and 7 in the numerator. To get now the product, this is equal to, yes, 56. Correct. Okay. After now your example, try to solve now your given three items. Still, the instruction is the same. You will find the unknown in each item. So you have now number one. You have C, an object for taken at a time is equal to 35. Number two, C, a object are taken at a time is equal to 56. Number three, C, nine object, nine taken at a time is equal to blank. Your unknown in number one is N. And number two is your R, and number three is your C. So now, you can start solving. Find now your N in item number one. Okay, solve. Good! The answer for item number one is seven. Proceed now to item number two. Okay, start solving. Correct! Very good! The answer for item number 2 is 3. Did you get the correct answer? Proceed now to item number 3. Your 9 object, 9 taken at a time, C is unknown. So, bravo! Excellent! The answer for item number 3 is 1. Okay. So after now, your guided practice number 1. Okay, let us proceed to your guided practice number 2. So, what are now your given? Find now the value of your C. Given you have n is 8 and 5 is for the value of r. So this is now the solution. Of course, first is to have now the formula. And after that, substitute now the values on your given formula. Okay, we have now 8 factorial. Okay, I'll repeat. 8 object. 5 taken at a time. So we have now 5 is the value of R. So we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. And 5 will be our denominator. So you have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Apply now your cancellation. We have now your common factors, right? Yes, correct. Cancel out. 6 on your numerator to your given the denominator which are 3 and 2. Next, cancel out 5 and 4 from your numerator and denominator. What are the numbers left? A nice observation. We have 8 and 7. And what will be the product of these two numbers? Yes, 56 is correct. Okay, let us now check your retention on our previous lesson. Find the unknown in each item. I will give three items in this guided practice number two. Okay, let us have now number one. Find C. Where in now, seven object, R is three. Unknown is C. Number two, observe that your unknown now is N. Given is your R, which is five, and C is 252. And last number, your unknown here is R. 
and the given or your n which is now 6 and c now is 15. Okay, let us continue. So, let's see what you got for item number 1. Is your answer 35? Good! That is correct! Let's proceed to item number 2. Okay, item number 2 unknown is N. Okay, so Very good! So the value of N is 10. Okay, how about in item number 3? Wherein R is unknown. 6 for your N is given. And also your C, which is 15, is also given. What is the value of R? Be sold. Excellent! The answer is 2. Okay. For your independent practice, bring out now your activity notebook and ball pen and write and solve the following problems in your activity notebook. So I have prepared five items and you will solve this one and now you will give this to me on our next session so these are now the questions okay question number one what is the value of r in c 12 object r taken at a time is equal to 495 number two calculate c for in 10 object taken six taken at a time and your unknown now is C. Next question number three. If C is N object 3 taken at a time is equal to 35, what is the value of N? And number four. How many ways can six canned goods be arranged in a shell? And last question in this activity number two. A horse race has 12 horses. How many ways can first, second, and third occur? Okay. So, let us proceed now to your assessment. And for your comprehension of concepts, so write the letter of the best answer on a separate sheet of paper. Remember, use a capital letter. Okay. So this will be given to me on our next session together with your activity which is your independent activity. Okay, take now your question number one. It is the selection of things, order of things, does not matter. Letter A, permutation. B, combination. Letter C, distinction. And letter D, differentiation. Question number two. Which of the following situations illustrates combination? Letter A. Forming different numbers from seven given digits. Letter B. Selecting plants in a garden. Letter C. Arranging books on the top of the table. And last, letter D, assigning numbers 
two contestants. Okay, let us continue. Number three question in your assessment. Which of the following situations does not, again, does not illustrate combinations? Letter A, choosing books in a shelf. Letter B, selecting students to form a group. Letter C, arranging 15 students in an alphabetical order. And letter D, selecting colleagues to join the party. Okay, number four questions. The number of combinations of N objects taken R at a time is denoted by blank. Letter A, C, N objects are taken at a time. B, C, R, objects, N taken at a time. C, you have R, combinations, number of objects. And D, N, you have your C, combinations, and R taken at a time. Okay, let us continue. For the last question on your assessment, number five, which of the following can be a value of R in combination where in your N is 6, your unknown now is R is equal to 20? Take note, in this question, R is unknown. Okay, let us move to your choices. Letter A, is it 4? B, is it 6? And letter C, 5? Or letter D, 3? That's it for today's lesson. I hope and expect that you have learned a lot. See you again for our next topic. Thank you for your time and participation. Once again, this is your teacher, Nina Mamaril of Ruffalo M. Landa High School. Bye-bye. See you soon. Special thanks to the following. Of course, to our principal, Madam Emma Lamar Bayona, Principal 4 of our school, Ruffalo M. Nanda High School, our uh, Madam, Madam Griselda Dedicatoria Fontanilia, the Public School District Supervisor of Palawig, and of course, for video editing and slides presentation, my former student in San Andres, Mr. Jujit E. Elemento. Thank you and God bless.